As interconnectivity increases amidst the advent of 5G, as well as the transition from centralized computing in the cloud to computing at the edge in the fog, the concerns for privacy aren't going anywhere. Ensuring that data can move from one location to another without anyone's eavesdropping remains in the back of consumers' minds. Engineering.com recently had the opportunity to discuss with some experts and industry leaders about the importance of protecting data. People are giving up some of their freedoms for the convenience of having IoT, whether it's a, a doorbell in your house or a thermostat and so forth. What they don't realize is some of these cloud-connected systems are all going back to a central server, they're making the decisions and, and affecting things in your home. So they think they're getting the convenience, but they don't realize all the touch points of where your data is actually winding up. All of that data is being harvested, used in some, uh, some way to facilitate an experience for you, but what you don't know is what's actually happening with the data. And so I think the, the social impact of IoT and what's happening is, has not been truly realized. And I think well, as we start seeing some of these litigations start to happen and accidents happening and so forth as a result or breaches of data, then we'll, then the so so we'll be made socially aware of what our data is and what the privacy, the importance of privacy is. Consumers aren't alone in their concern. Manufacturing floors and data processing centers are some of the few key areas in industry that require protection for their massive streams of raw and processed data against malicious agents. So it's one thing to worry about the privacy of our, of our personal devices, uh, but it's another thing to worry about the privacy and security of our nuclear power stations or driverless cars or uh, heart rate monitors or the like. And there's very few things that are more important today than privacy and security. Uh, and it's a key topic of conversation. With the footsteps of an era of quantum computers factoring very large numbers, new protocols for crypto systems to secure sensitive data is necessary. Further, the gap between privacy and commercial exchange of data serves as an opportunity for engineers, cryptologists, and security specialists to innovate new solutions. We need to understand when data is being utilized, what are the rules by which that data is consumed and where it's consumed. One example of that is um, the introduction of bias in artificial intelligence. It's just kind of a uh, side note of something that just came into play. It's not like it was programmed in, it's just something that happens. So we're trying to figure out algorithms and ways to be able to reduce that. So see, these are some, th some of the things we've got to try to figure out and certainly keep watch on. In an era where collaboration is becoming all the more important, another question on the minds of industry leaders is how to share data so that better machine learning can take place without it being inaccessible to smaller businesses and startups. If you look at data, data sets, take for example, you know, the Facebooks or the Googles of this world, um, they have huge data sets at their disposal, right? So, you know, how do we create uh, an environment, a technological environment where, um, you know, a smaller company can get access to these data sets, right? Should that be allowed? Should that be obscured? I don't know, right? Um, but those are all really serious questions that we need to sort of explore and see how we move that forward because uh, uh, AI is an important one and we, we need to do it right. With artificial intelligence being integrated at the edge more and more each day, one of the biggest challenges today is the cleaning of data from biases as to avoid the perpetuation of those biases in future iterations of machine learning. So if the way we did things today um, was biased, then, uh, and we use that data to train a system, then that system will be biased. One of the great analogies that I have for um, for bias in systems comes from how orchestras have changed over the last period of time. So, so orchestras uh, historically were male. Uh, new potential hires to orchestras were put behind a physical barrier and uh, all of a sudden we saw women begin to make up 45% of the new hires in orchestras because when the people that were doing the hiring couldn't see whether it was a man or a woman, they would hire based on the sound that was created. We need to come up with analogies to that physical barrier in, in artificial intelligence systems to help get biases out of the equation. As to not compound the problem of older generations of AI corrupting tomorrow's AI, innovating new methods to remove known biases from data sets is an area ready for fresh eyes and insight. What do you think? Share your comments with us below. And if you're interested in learning more about this topic, check out our article on engineering.com. The link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to get more content just like this.